Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to Minecraft. It is season six. Yes, we're back on the current season again, and I have done a lot of work. Like, a ton of work. Like, more work than I actually meant to do off screen. But hey, <laughs> progress. And we have a lot of stuff to check out today. Um, some really cool stuff. And we're going to start with showing that I have upgraded our little, um, derpy little home that we've been using as a base. And it now actually looks halfway decent. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's still temporary. It's still going to go away once... Uh, you know, I have better places built, but as a, you know, filler place, just so we have somewhere to put our stuff, uh, I think it works pretty well. Uh, I've started trying to organize. I've also had a mine shaft going, which um, has been pretty decent as far as getting stuff, um, and I can show that to you. Voila! Boom! Look at that. That is quite the loot chest, if I do say so myself. Uh, and this is the organization style I'm going with, which works pretty well, because if you put one of each item in the slots that you want, then you can just shift-click all the stuff into it. And this is food and mob drops. Not in the best order or anything right now. You know, I was wondering if you guys would be totally against... I mean, I know this is my vanilla series, but would you be totally against me using the Inventory Tweaks mod? All that basically does is gives you the button on the chest that you hit it and it sorts stuff. <laughs> that would be nice because this chest is a mess. But I understand if you don't want me to. Uh, extra storage down here. We've got the wood chest. We have stone and dirt, gravel. And we have miscellaneous, which really doesn't make a lot of sense right now. But... There's lots of stuff in it, random stuff. Um, I have a I have a lot to show you. Uh, so the stable, uh, thank you for your input. Uh, the one main idea that I ended up using was from a user by the name of the Twilight Girl 04, and suggested that I use the dirt and hardened clay. Uh, which I think actually ended up working out pretty well, which we will see in a moment. Um, and then also Alpha Man 226 said that I should incorporate uh, the hay bales. Um, and he's right about that, but as far as using it for the flooring, it would feel more like, I don't know, a western style stable because they did use a lot of straw on the floor. Uh, but this is a medieval style, which is going to be kind of dirtier, muddier. That type of a thing and so when you see what it uh, what it came out like I think you will understand uh, that it's for the best so anyway uh, I also did a ton of work on the outside of the stable and we actually basically have it completed we don't have the upper floor completed but we have the main part of it completed and uh, let's go take a look at it shall we if I could get through the door I'm trying to Get a little closer before I turn around. Voila! Yeah, um, it's still gonna. It's still got some tweaking. I'm still not a hundred percent sure on the style. I mean, I've, I've been looking at some medieval builds. I've been looking at some pictures from things that are supposed to be medieval, uh, and it felt like it needed to be very, very strong, very, very big, very sturdy. Uh, I also saw a lot of stone and log combinations. And, yeah, and you might be wondering, well, why is this part not laid out the way it is all the way around? Um, that's because this part, um, I'm still working out the idea, but this part is going to be like an overhang type of a thing with um, some sort of columns. And this is going to be like the blacksmith's area. Uh, working on making the stuff, you like shoeing the horses and the stuff. Um, we might work on that on camera, I don't know. Uh, but we come in here, voila! What do you think? Uh, not all of these horses are tame or anything, uh, but I, uh, 
I brought them in here anyway just to fill it out. We can always trade them out with better ones that are more suitable for us as far as speed and jumping and all that. I just wanted to fill it up, but we went with brown dyed hardened clay and dirt for the stalls, and I think that looks perfect. And I did include some hay bales for them to have something to eat, and they each have a cauldron of water. But then for this main part, I felt like they would be putting in some cobblestone flooring, but it would be old and worn out because remember, this is more the the uh, lower class stable. There's going to be a royal stable. It's going to be super, super fancy, uh, closer to the castle. But this, this is the uh, this is the lower class stable. So the floor is kind of breaking up a little bit and kind of turning into gravel there. Um, and you'll see up here. We have a spiral staircase, which takes us up to what will be the hayloft upper area, uh, food storage and what have you. And I have an idea for the roof. I think I know how I want it to look to maintain the look of a medieval stable. <laughs> um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I do. I just have this bed here because I was working, obviously. And it got tiring running back and forth. I also put in a doorway on this side as well. Um, because I got sick of having to run all the way out and around, <laughs> mostly. But it makes sense. Um, so, I also was working up there a little bit. You'll see a trail of torches. I was starting to level that out up there where the castle's going to be. Um, also... I've done a lot. I, I will admit, I've done a lot, and maybe it was more than I intended, but, you know, it is what it is. I got I got a little carried away, <laughs> but um, I also have a nether portal now. Um, I have not explored the nether, uh, but I did poke my head in, and I was very happy with what I saw. We'll look at that in a minute. Uh, there's no easy way up there yet, but I wanted it up there because that's where Merlin's Tower is going to be, and I couldn't think of a better place to put the uh, nether portal than in Merlin's tower so that's going to be up there and I was farming some cocoa beans for the the brown hardened clay um have a couple of cows I haven't done too much with them Just get some leather from some cows out in the wild which I needed for the item frames and stuff like that anyway over here is my mine shaft, which actually, uh, funny enough, it ended up breaking into an abandoned mine shaft, and I was able to explore down there, and that's where I basically got those diamonds that you saw, um, <laughs> not from strip mining, but from the abandoned mine shaft. Uh, and before it gets totally dark, this, this is what I'm most excited about. While exploring down there, I found. A skeleton spawner and it is right straight down here but let me go ahead and make it day before we check that out um, <laughs> because I don't want to come up to death and destruction here I also did the door in the way that makes it that so the zombies can't break it down which is basically you stand and you face this way and you place the door right there um, right at that edge and then it's like flat up against here. And then when you click it, it's closed. But the zombies think it's open. Like they think this is closed and this is open. So they just stand there. They don't break the door down. It's pretty handy. Anyway, let's sleep. All right. So let's go ahead and whoa, get glitched into the door. That's That's the first thing you do. <laughs> Zombie. Don't. Seriously. Give me that XP. I need it. Alright. Oh yeah. <laughs> I should mention. I did finally die once. Um, I had 36 levels of XP. Uh, that's how long I'd stayed alive. Whoop, 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 whoop. No. No. Those little guys are crazy. 
Jeez. They don't burn up in the sun. They're super freaking fast. Anyway, uh, but while I was digging this out, I was a complete idiot. And um, ended up falling as I was, I was digging it out. And not catching the ladder. Falling, dying. And so that happened, unfortunately. But um, back up to 28 levels again already. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, we're going to go ahead and go straight down because I know I made this column going up. So it is safe to dig straight down to our skeleton spawner. I am so happy about that. I'm going to make a trap out of it and it is going to be amazing. I'm going to have XP, arrows, bones, even bows. Got a good idea for how I'm going to do it too. Um, anyway, but what I have not done is open the chest. So let's see what our loot is, shall we? I was like, I can't believe I found a skeleton spawner without recording. They're going to be so upset. But not if I don't look in the chests. So, uh, start with this one. All right. Decent. Another golden disc. That's like five now. But I do have cat. Yes. It's Pyro's jam. <laughs> um, yeah. So, come on. Come on. Some horse stuff, please. Oh, yes. Name tags. Three of them. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That, that's good. That is very good. That makes me happy. Let me grab these chests. All right. Well, that was worth the wait. <laughs> Three name tags. Wow. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to make a trap out of this. Um, I'm going to make it where it can be both XP and uh, quick kill, I guess. Huh. It's not sure. I'm going to have to do some thinking on that. But I believe if... Uh, I believe I can set it up to where they'll either go down one path to where they'll just take some damage and then I can um, punch them to death or have them go through a lava blade and die and then have their drops picked up by a, a hopper and put into a chest. I think that'll work fine. Um, what level are we at? 26. I don't think I have enough ladders to get me to the surface, but I might. We can try. But anyway, so yeah, I want to have like two ways of doing it. I'm going to have to play around with that. I probably won't do that on screen. Um, yeah, not quite. Uh, because it's going to be a lot of trial and error. But uh, I'll get that worked out. Anyway, so... Uh, there's not much to see down there. Like I say, it broke into a abandoned mine shaft, which I've mostly explored. Uh, nothing too, too crazy interesting other than, like I say, the diamonds and then finding that spawner. Um, okay, so next thing I want to do, this chest. This is set aside for a special project. Can you figure out what it is? <laughs> of course you can. It is time for an enchanting table. So let's uh, let's do this. Get some books. Mm hmm. So I have enough for three bookcases. That's good. Uh, let's see. Do do do. And boop and a boop. Enchanting table get. Haha! <laughs> I got an achievement too. All right, so no, let's uh, let's not put it there. Let's actually make the bookcases. Um, no, that's not going to be enough of that. Let me grab some more. Been using up a lot of lumber <laughs> over there at the uh, stable, as you saw. Using whole logs to build with. It's a lot more um, resource intensive than, than you know you get used to building with this stuff. 
turn it into planks or half slabs or stairs you know you you get more bang for your buck for sure um oh whatever good enough and do do all right come on back um i don't know why that happened okay let's see where do i want to put this for the time being um well i suppose we could do something like this just for now let's see um what's the best we're gonna get really i can get that with only one what that's weird okay all right so seven it is since this is half shot i'm gonna go ahead and just put whatever on it. Efficiency 2, that's good. And I have... I have... And I'm breaking one book. So let's... Um, let's combine that and make this last a little bit longer. So we got 651 uses left, that's good. Right, and let's... Clear out some of this stuff. I don't need quite that much stuff on my person. <laughs> um, let's put these name tags up because those are special. <laughs> I don't want to take any chances with those. These are a rare find. Um, let's get all this stuff out of our inventory. Wait, no buckets. There we go. And bum bum. All right. So, what's my armor looking like? It's not in great shape. Not in great shape. But I'm not gonna do anything too. Why did I put you in there? You were so close. Eh, whatever. Um, hopefully you can hear me good too. Uh, I've switched to using my blue yeti. Um, I haven't been using it with Minecraft because my or basically any PC recording or laptop recording because my laptop makes so much noise that I was thinking, well, you're just going to hear that white noise sound. And you probably do a little bit, but I realized that my headset mic is now making that or picking that sound up as well. And it might actually be worse than this, plus it's less spacey, you know, less realistic. Um, more of a tinny sound with my voice. And I thought, what's the point? If I'm going to have the white noise anyway, you might as well have, you know, a better quality sound. I hope it is anyway. Um, so we're going to climb up here. And, like I say, not a good way to get up here. Okay. Little lag spike. Not a good way to get up here yet, but someday it'll be better. That over there, look at this. That overhang, it's not loading in great, but that overhang looks really cool. Anyway, um, what the, oh, that's right, I dug down because I heard something and I was going to try to find it and then I went past it and yeah, there was nothing there. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so let's pop into the nether and see what's going on. Alright, so I popped in before, made a little safe enclosure for uh, for my por portal. Blah. If I could learn how to speak English, it'd be great. And, look at that. I mean, could this get any better? Well, yeah. <laughs> that could have been not right there, ready to kill me, but seriously oh and more of them lovely um but seriously spawn right on top of a nether fortress i don't have to go looking for it it's right there so yeah that's pretty exciting <laughs> um i do have some gravel let's see how many arrows do i got i have plenty all right we're gonna try to get rid of these guys before they kill me Ha! 
I'm better than you. Oh, another one. Okay, that didn't quite work. Ooh, hello, Wither Skeleton. It's a little different than what I was doing on Season 1, because I at least have health regen <laughs> um, on this world, so that's good. I would very much like to get down there. Um, I need to find the best place to do that, though. This could work. Let's see, where's that going to go? Yeah, that'll work. I just have to deal with that blaze. I would also like to deal with him. Mm-hmm. Come on. Poke your head down here a little bit. Nope. Come on. Drop down. There we go. Um, hmm. It really isn't super safe, is it? But, again, I have region at least. Whoop. Well, fricker. Not really sure how I how that knocked me off. I didn't know that had knocked back, but okay. Alright. Wither skeletons are basically what I'm worried about here. Oh, one of the little dudes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I want to get... I want to get some light over here so that I can see that and know that that's the way I need to get out. And I'm going to have a quick look around for Nether Wart. You get a few regen as well. <laughs> no sense making it hard for yourself everywhere. <sighs> but yeah, the reason I'm doing the no region thing on my older seasons is just because I feel like I kind of deserve some sort of punishment for going back to an old world like that. For abandoning it in the first place. Uh, that's kind of silly, but that's the way I'm thinking. No, don't you dare. I hope that little guy don't walk in front of me. Ow. Oh gosh, another one of these guys. Jeez. What the? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the frick? Uh, seriously? How did that even happen? Uh, um, I need to... Uh, I need to get my stuff back, but I need to at least take a pick and a sword and some gravel. Alright. Make a sword really, really quickly. Dang it. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, it's not going to despawn because I'm not in there, but... Oops. The principle of the thing. Alright. That's crazy, though. Seriously. The chain of events that happened there. The skeleton didn't look like he could get up from where he was. And then... He knocked me off the pillar. I got hit by the wither and then dropped. And then withered away. That's... <sighs> that was a thing. Alright. Dang it, man. I wanted to die less in these. Back in the old days, I hardly died at all. Alright. 
because I don't think I ever actually did die um, on the season one world. So, yeah. I guess I used to be better at the game. Around. Okay, he's my main enemy. My stuff is down there. Okay, that could be good enough. Okay, he's the culprit. He's the one that knocked me down there. Alright, I need to get down here. Okay, that is solid. Alright. And... I don't think any of our stuff... Well, wait. That's not all of our stuff. What? Oh. How did that get back there? Okay, I got the pick. Armor... Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, uh, my food is gone. Shovel. Um, the wood I brought. Alright, I need that food. So where did that go? Down there, maybe? Where's that gas at? Oh, there he is. Hello. You must die. Oh, I don't have arrows. A bow, but no arrows. Lovely. Right, I do have to get down to this lower area then. Uh, if it was there and not in the lava that it fell. enough. I get knocked off of here. I'm done for, but I see my stuff. Some more of it anyway. Shovel. Oh, here we go. Ow. Arrows. Some of them. Why only that few? Hmm. Food. Yes. There we go. All right, now I feel better. Jeez. Get that off the bar. All right. So I didn't get all of it back. Looks like I lost the wood. If I brought coal, I can't remember. Nope. Let's just, um, get up here as quickly as we can. Don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. Come on, get me up here. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's that blaze? It's over there. This dude. Eh. Too much stuff. Alright. Just go. Wrong way. How does that have knockback now? That never had knockback before. Did it? I don't remember that. Die again. Oh my gosh, no. Ah, no, 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 no. 
Did we really kill each other simultaneously? <laughs> what is going on today? Uh, all right. Oh, leave me alone. Okay. Oh my gosh, I got a wither I got a wither skull from him. Oh my gosh, those are so freaking hard to get. I lost my chest plate. Uh, I lost the other stuff. I lost my pick. No, 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 no. Not the pick, not the pick, not the pick. Is there ground under there? No. No. I should not have brought that after all. I'm always getting home Justin about that. And then what do I do? I bring the freaking thing with me. Well, fricker. Stop it. Seriously, stop it. Well, this has gone terribly wrong ever since I stepped foot into this place. Gosh. I don't... I don't know if I'm going to be able to climb this thing with that guy. Maybe I can use this as cover. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. Lost my food again, too. So regening is not happening. Alright, let's figure this out. Almost. Go, 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 go. Just leave, man. Just leave. I don't know what I'm salvaging from this. Nothing, really. <sighs> what am I salvaging? Crappy armor. Normal, regular tools that mean nothing. I lost my diamond pick. Lost food and all that stuff. But I did get this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wither skeleton with glasses. Beautiful. Uh. Well. This has not gone exactly as planned. But hey. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Minecraft with John season six. Um, <laughs> I died a lot and I lost good stuff. And yet we showed off a lot of cool things, a lot of progress, a lot more stuff to come. Um, I'm going to start working on the, the roof. Um, loft area of that and uh, I'll probably save building the blacksmith area on screen just so you guys can actually experience some building with me um, but that's gonna be tricky and it's gonna be better if I do that off screen um, and I'm gonna get better equipped and then start working on that over there too so I can get good equipment going, uh, and chants and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we will go tame the nether once we're better prepared to do so. <sighs> that's just, that's just frustrating, man. I mean, seriously. I don't know when the blazes got knocked back. I swear I don't remember that ever being a thing. But I guess it's a thing now. Ay, ay, ay.
Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time for more. Bye.